My name is Mike McGuire and I come from central Wisconsin where I have my farm and I use my drone on, on the farm to uh, spray fungicides and herbicides and cover crop seeding. I'm doing a demonstration here today for cover crop seeding along with uh, another partner from Rantizo and uh, wanted to just demonstrate what the drones can do. You know, talk about uh, how we get, got started in the business and, and basically just kind of answered questions from the group and so we did demonstrate a cover crop seeding I, I applied rye to this cornfield here uh, typically you would apply a cover crop in the fall probably before a crop is harvested and so I've been doing this now this would be my third year that I've been a contractor for Rantizo this is the drone that I had started with and continuing to use I've applied to probably about 1200 a little over 1200 acres over the last two years this year looks like it's going to be a pretty busy year because it's catching on more and more. With any kind of new technology, there's hiccups that come along with either the apps that we're using or the calibration, uh, getting it set up and flying. Sure. Well, I started two years ago, I uh, wanted to apply, I wanted to get into cover crop so that I have a cover crop established when I took soybeans off was my main goal. And so the first year I applied, uh, I applied rye to the thing and basically with the drone, I was able to apply 55 pounds to the acre. Last, I did that at the end of September, thinking that would be adequate time to establish the cover crop before the crop was harvested. That didn't work out to my satisfaction, so then that last year I did uh, winter wheat, and I did it right after Labor Day with the same amount, uh, 55 pound, which is about a bushel, you know, and uh, applied that. Again, not really satisfied with the coverage that I received, uh, the whole goal of gaining a cover crop for to hold the soil in place and um, to just improve the, the fertility. So this year I'm hoping to do some other testing with different uh, products, different seeds, and maybe get more seeds per acre. Every year is a learning experience and you try to learn from the previous years. Uh, being one of the, f the first in the state to do this, uh, there isn't a lot of people to ask, okay, well, how do I set it? What do I do? It's more a trial and error, but there, again, I've been using my farm as kind of the test plot uh, before I go out and actually do it commercially for other people. So it's an enjoyable business when everything is working well, you know. And, uh,